Well, this is how we're starting. Good morning, but no, it's 2.30. I usually start my vlogs in the morning and I just didn't today. So I got the urge to start one now. It is Friday at 2.30. So maybe we'll do a little weekend vlog. We're getting so close to Vlogmas, I can taste it. Okay, so I went to the gym this morning and then I showered and I washed my hair for the first time since my haircut. And then I blew it out and I put it up in my rollers. This one just kind of fell out in the back, but you can see the little flip we got. I was kind of curious just to see if these would fit. And also for people saying that I didn't even get to use my new e.l.f. heatless curl thing, I think it will still work because my hair is not as short as I usually go. I think it will still, because like, I don't know. I think it will, <laughs> we'll see. Cause the fact that my heatless curl or heatless blowout thing worked is a good sign. So <laughs> this is either gonna look really good or really bad. So let's just take them out and see. I'm a little nervous. Okay, we gotta judge it. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's quite a lot of volume, girl. Okay, so I think it looks really bad. Let me... Go look in the mirror. Well, it's definitely something. Like it's almost good, but it's just kind of not. I think I would prefer to just wear it straight. I mean, it doesn't look horrible. I wasn't really sure how it would look, but I just feel like it's not quite giving what I wanted it to. I haven't worn it yet with like a wave and a little curl, so I'll do that another time. But I just wanted to like give this a little try. I mean, I guess it's kind of cute. I don't know. Anyway, I am going to buzz over and do a couple of returns. Um, I am going to exchange the pants I got from Aerie because they stretch out a lot. So I'm going to get a size down and I need to go to Old Navy and then I'm going to exchange those blue wide leg sweats that I got because they're, they're too big also. And then tonight I'm making a lasagna for me and my mom and Yar and my mom and I are going to watch the finale of Golden Bachelor. We both think we saw a spoiler, but we scrolled by really quick, so hopefully it wasn't a spoiler. All right, first return spot, Old Navy. Well, I just did my return. I got a gift card, so naturally I'm looking at the Christmas stuff. And look how freaking cute the Santa PJs are. Everything is so Christmassy in here. Look how cute all of these hats are with the matching scarves. This one is so amazing sparkly they have a pink sparkly one too wow everything is so pretty i think i'm gonna save my gift card but i'm just kind of poking around look at these sequin pants for new year's so cool okay i'm gonna save my gift card for another day so i can do some free shopping on girl math well the good news is there is also an airy in this outdoor mall so i can go exchange my pants so I think they were called like skater pants or something. They were like a wide leg sweat and they were perfect when I put them on, just the right amount of oversized. But after like an hour, they stretched out so much. So um, I'm gonna go grab the extra large. I think they have extra large in the store. I know sometimes they don't have XXL. And also I'm pretty sure I heard like a rumor. I don't know if it's true. I will fact check, but I think American Eagle is like gonna phase out like their bigger sizes in jeans because I think for a minute they were going up to 24 and I think they're not going to go up that far anymore which is so annoying like so irritating I will just be salty forever that brands that carry plus size online never have them in store <laughs> and like literally I love Lululemon's clothes they go up to a size 20 never have an 18 in store not even a 16 and it's just so annoying like i you know and i'm sure that plus size people like it's not selling enough in there but it's because we don't know we know you don't carry it in store how are we supposed to know if you ever do but they won't so anyway because i'm pretty sure i took bruno along for the ride but yeah i'm pretty sure old navy is phasing out their plus in store too which i find so weird because you can't tell me it didn't perform well like i i knew everyone was PO'd about it so all right I'm gonna run in an exchange and I'm gonna bring Bruno in with me because these stores are dog friendly why am I zoomed in 
Okay, you guys, back home. The hair is growing on me. It didn't do like a lot, but I do kind of like it. But um, I just ran my errands, as you saw. I have a gift card for Old Navy, which maybe we'll save for like a little shopping day during Vlogmas, because as I said, girl math, free shopping with a gift card. And then look at these cute bags from Aerie. We have like a bin of reusable bags that we use, and I'm so obsessed with this one. Like I will use this outside of Christmas. It's so cute. So they didn't have any extra large of the pants I wanted. I did end up just looking around. I'm such an online shopper. It's nice sometimes to like actually look through the store. So I exchanged um, the sweats and I ended up grabbing these. I don't know what these are called, but when I tell you these are the softest pair of pants, soft and stretchy I've like ever felt. Like I just touched them and I was like, oh. This gorgeous, really dark olive green. They are just like stretchy with a raw hem. They are wide leg pants. They are so soft. And then they have one pocket on the butt cheek, which is always fun. And then they have a hidden drawstring. And then I also just grabbed this waffle knit wide leg lounge pant, which are also super soft with a drawstring, one pocket on the butt cheek. So that's all set. My mom's gonna be here in about an hour and a half. So I gotta get started on the lasagna because it has to bake for an hour. So I know you guys have seen me make lasagna before, I think. So we'll just speed through it. Also, great news you guys, our replacement tree is already shipped and it's coming in two days. So they shipped it really fast. So I will say I'm very impressed with Balsam Hill returns and exchanges. Yes, I am. So, oh, I do love this room though. It makes my heart very happy. But now, guys, let me know, should there be something above this chair? So let me know. What we think. Okay, I've said it before and I'll say it again. For the last couple of minutes, once your lasagna is cooked to the directions of your noodles, broil on high for like two minutes and it will make your top so crispy and amazing. But keep an eye on it <laughs> or put it on low, but keep an eye on it regardless. Like, come on, you guys. It's so beautiful. I'm gonna just throw this foil on it to keep it warm till my mom gets here soon but yeah that's how i do my lasagna i think i kind of showed it throughout cooking and i've made it before but i make a pretty good lasagna and then when i serve it i do a little bit more parm and a little bit more italian seasoning and sometimes i add bread pepper flakes to mine for a little bit of heat and i bought a pack of these a while ago for something some sort of hosting thing and i have leftovers so I'm just using them up. Mom and I are I explaining to Yarmin how yes. drinks taste better. Okay, now look how cute my cup is. Uh, she asked me which I wanted. I said the snowman. I love my glass straw, it's green. <laughs> so my color theme is the red and the green for Christmas. And then mine, because my drink's kind of brown, I did the brown gingerbread and then the brown straw. And then my mom says to Yarmin, do you love these cups? And he goes, when did you get those? <laughs> You want me to put yours in a festive cup? Oh, good, thank you. <laughs> oh, no, look, look, look. <laughs> tastes so much better. It tastes so much better. The cute Mom, did you see also I have my Christmas water cup? 
Oh, perfect. Thank perfect. God she encourages my Christmas. Oh, I love it. Yep. I love it. We have two bones set aside to keep them quiet while we watch Golden Bat. We just had our lasagna. Now we're gonna watch. You guys, my mom just left and it was not the finale. <laughs> we had two episodes. We had the Women Tell All and then um, Fantasy Suites. But yeah, we thought it was a tell all and then the finale and it was last night because today's Friday. So we were like, we don't want to see any spoilers. We got to watch it the next day. So it was not. So the tell all episode, my friends had warned me that it was emotional. It was cried twice. And then the next episode was the fantasy suites. And then for the finale, which is going to be the week after Thanksgiving, because it's Thanksgiving next week. It's not until November 30th. <laughs> this feels so far away. Um, they're gonna meet Gary's daughters. I believe that's what I saw in the preview and then make the decision. So spoiler alert, if you didn't watch Fantasy Suites yet, but I think at the point this vlog goes up, it's gonna be like, if you haven't watched it yet, you probably don't watch. Um, so the Fantasy Suites, I feel, the thing is with The Bachelor, I feel like they edit it a lot of the time to look like it makes you shooketh when things come to fruition. Like they'll edit it to make it look like one is not gonna get chosen and then they end up getting chosen. So I've noticed with the Golden Bachelor though, they haven't necessarily done that all that much. Like it's been a little bit more true to the situation for the most part, I think. I've been trying to be observant of that, but you know, it came off really strong with Leslie having the first fantasy suite date, but then with the rocky start with Teresa's, by the end of it, he said they had a revelationary talk. She said something revelationary. And it just sounds like they got really far. At the end of their date, she said, you know, I'm crazy about you, I love you. And he goes, you know how I feel. Oh, you know how I feel. And she goes, I know how you feel. And it, sound, it was very much giving, like he told her he's gonna pick her, like, don't worry about it, I'm gonna pick you. But then again, when he, Someone on a Ferris wheel he was with, I think it was Faith. He said, you're my girl. And that made it sound like he was gonna pick her. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Poor Gary. I just think it's always hard to navigate on The Bachelor anyway, but I'm sure it's extra hard being older and widow and it's just, it's a lot. And you've been out of the dating game. It's like, it's a lot of pressure. Sorry for this chat. <laughs> if you don't watch, if you don't watch, you're probably like, girl, boring i don't know i just oh, i just loved loved this season it just like really made my heart like explode i just thought it was really sweet i think gary is like so lovely and i hope whoever he picks he stays with and i hope they take one of the girls and do golden bachelorette and i want golden paradise i want all of it because it's just so wholesome and they're all so genuine and phenomenal so that's the night my mom just left so i'll see you tomorrow good morning so last night my mom and i watched um the golden bachelor and then yara and i got the urge to watch a movie yeah that's fine we all of a sudden started watching elvis <laughs> with austin butler and then it was like it was getting late i don't know why we we started watching a movie kind of late but Austin Butler, like we watched the first 30 minutes. It's like a two and a half hour movie. So we're gonna watch the rest today, but it's really good so far. Oh, you need your credit card? We're... Oh, wait, never mind. I don't think it has. That's weird it didn't pop up. Oh, that's so annoying when that happens. Now you have to get your credit card. Yeah. They don't have Apple Pay? We're ordering breakfast because it's Saturday and I don't feel like making breakfast. <laughs> we're ordering breakfast and we're gonna watch the rest of Elvis. But everyone had said that Austin Butler's voice like changed after Elvis, but we looked up a video and his voice was actually like pretty deep and like twangy before Elvis. It's a little bit more, but like not that much. You guys, I'm about to tell you something severely controversial. We just picked up breakfast and I got lunch and it's 9.30. I, this, this is so severely controversial. I prefer lunch. <laughs> I, I people are like so passionate about breakfast i just don't feel a lot for breakfast i like it sometimes but i just i'm more of a lunch girl 
So what did I get? A chicken wrap. We got some grilled buffalo chicken and it's gonna be delicious. Mm. We're gonna go watch the rest of Elvis and enjoy this rainy weather. It's gonna clear up later, so we'll be productive this afternoon when it's not raining. Many hours later. Okay, checking in, we have watched more of the movie, but we're taking another break <laughs> because it's so long and I have a hard time like relaxing, especially in the morning. I can relax better at night, but in the morning I tend to have to like go, go, go. And now that it's like past noon, I feel like a couch potato and I have a headache. <laughs> Does anyone else get a headache when they lay around too long? We literally just laid around for a couple hours watching more of the movie and just talking. And now I'm just like, I, I feel like crap. So I'm gonna drink a bunch of water and a little caffeine. Yara looked at my little caffeine. He's like, water, bitch. <laughs> you, you. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna watch the rest of the movie tonight. We don't have that much left, but Austin Butler doing an amazing job at Elvis. I don't know anything about Elvis. So I don't actually, I don't know if he's doing a good job. It seems like he's doing a good job. Did the movie get good reviews? I think it did. I think it was like really popular and like won awards. 4.4 on Google. 4.4 stars on Google. Rotten Tomato, 94% audience 94% on Rotten Tomatoes? Audience score. Audience. Which I trust over the- Yeah, the sometimes things are rated great and I don't like them. Yeah. And 77% from the critics. <laughs> okay, that's still pretty high. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. So yeah, we're gonna watch the rest of that later, but I'm gonna do a little bit of work and just like some stuff around the house. Tomorrow we're going to my grandparents um, to frost Thanksgiving cookies. Many hours later. You can see Bruno in the background <laughs> cruising. We haven't watched him, don't worry, but he has just enough to put his head out and cruise. <laughs> oh, it makes my heart so happy. So if you haven't noticed, I full blown did hair and makeup because Yara and I just felt like we absolutely needed to get out of the house, like freshen up, get out. Um, neither of us can sit still for very long, but the world's popping. It's very busy out here in these always streets. traffic on Saturdays. Yeah, this road always has a lot of traffic on the weekend, but this is my first time that I did um, some waves in the hair versus straight, and I think I like it better. So yeah, I'm here for it. So we are gonna go to Target because we have to get a gift card for someone that just had a baby recently. Did you give it a baby? Um, we want to send them a card and a gift card. So, um, yeah. I also just ran out of my eyebrow pencil, the Revlon Color Stay. So I do need to grab another one because that's literally like all I've been using every day. So we're gonna do that. But it's felt really good to like get dressed and put makeup on like I've been wearing makeup a lot lately I go through phases where like I don't wear makeup hardly ever and then I've been wearing it like every day just because it makes me feel more productive and like put together and like makes me want to make more content for work and like I don't know it's just better for the old mental health you guys the traffic is so bad because it's Thanksgiving week coming up you want me to turn around? No, I don't, I don't, I mean, like, what else do we have to do today? Like, it's a pretty chill day. Not spend 30 minutes on this road. Because <laughs> we should time it. This is the worst no I've problem. ever this seen is, it. Yeah, this is the worst I've ever seen it. It's got to be because it's right before Thanksgiving. This is by far the worst I've ever seen this road. This road is already, like, always cuckoo bananas, but I've never seen it this by out. But Bruno's having the time of his life. Actually, he just came in. Yeah, Bruno's sigh at this moment. Bruno! Yeah. You don't want to put your head back out, baby? Oh. He said, you want me to put my head back out? I'll put my head back out. <laughs> there he goes. Give to my baby. We should strap a, gro a GoPro to his head. And, like, watch him cruise. Don't they have collars that have... GoPro cars? attachments? Yeah, because the head wouldn't really make sense, right? Yeah, no, we need one that's gonna like capture his face in the wind. So one that's pointing towards. Yeah, him. or we can put it on the car. Suction it on the car so it's just showing his wind in the face. Mm -hmm. When his snout is all it's so cute. You can also just stick your phone out for like 10 seconds. You don't trust me to do that. <laughs> no, I know, but just to get the clip, right? All right, let's do it. Oh, that's so cute, actually. Winnie. 
smells like big red gum. It smells like cinnamon. So we're walking around the mall. Um, and we're in a Christmas store. It's so cozy. Aw, oh, it's us, babe. Grandma and grandpa. <laughs> 30 years. <laughs> 30 years? Well, I guess that's about right. 30, right? We're 30, yeah. 30, 45. Fair enough. Oh, I love stores like this. Festive. It flashes. Does it flash? That's cool. They have the same, the same stickers that I had seen in Newport. This one's Cha Cha. Let's see. Where's Bruno? I saw a little. Kind of. They have a Bernese. Bernie's dog, yes. No, they had a Bernadoodle at the other one. They don't have it here. Boo. But they've got Cha Cha. Oh my god. For Mimi, she would die. It doesn't. Oh wait, no. This looks like more. Wait, more like Max. Oh my god. Okay. I'm buying this for Mimi. I'm buying this for Mimi. <laughs> Does that not look <laughs> just like Max? <laughs> you turn it on the corner and you just say, oh my He's God. always, and she always gives him a little bit of her food. Oh my God, and they have one for Cha Cha too. Oh my gosh. Do they have a Bernadoodle? They ain't got no Bernadoodles here? Damn. Oh my gosh, I'm dying. Mimi is gonna die. I'm gonna get this for her birthday. The mall has wreaths up. So festive. We love it. Is Santa still here? He's probably tapped out. It's like 8 p.m. Yeah, he's back at the workshop. Oh, I love this. Tomorrow. Jump scare. Good morning. <laughs> I feel like this vlog is so chaotic and just like all over the place, but I guess that's this weekend. I don't know. Is it chaotic? Probably not. I'm chaotic. The weekend is not chaotic. But today is the Sunday before Thanksgiving. So the fam's going over to Mimi's house to decorate Thanksgiving cookies. And I'm so excited because I have this gift or gifts for my mom and Mimi. And I can't wait to show you guys. I've been waiting for both of them to come in and now they're both in. And I, I can't wait to show you. I can't wait to show you. They're basically... Okay, I'll just show you in a little bit. But like my go-to makeup as of late has been a full base and then like brows, lip, and mascara. I just like like having a full base on because my period is due in a few days and I'm breaking out so much on my cheeks right now. Like just that classic hormonal period acne. I thought I was recording and I wasn't. Okay, I just opened this. <laughs> so I picked up a replacement of my favorite brow product right now. Um, you can get it at the drugstore, order it on Amazon. I'll link it from Amazon if you want to just make it easy. But the Revlon Color Stay Brow Pencil in Soft Brown. I've gone through so many of these. So many. This one I just finished um, yesterday. <laughs> and it's nothing worse than when you like Try to twist it and it's like nope it's done it's gone so yeah i just opened this one and i get the shade soft brown and i don't know i like the spoolie a lot because it's like firm i like a firm spoolie and i don't know there's something about this brow pencil i like that it's like a little bit soft so it almost feels like you're working with a pomade but in pencil form so you don't have to apply a lot of pressure it's just a little it goes a long way and then I just gently fill in like that it's, it takes like two seconds and the brows always look so good and then I just brush it through and like it's like two seconds I don't know like I'm telling you I've bought this a million times it's so good okay makeup and hair is done and I just touched up my waves from yesterday I think I like the wave better than straight with this cut because like I said, I normally go um, shorter when I get my hair cut. So I almost feel like this length, at first I was like, I don't think it's short enough. It doesn't, I don't know. I felt a little off about it when it's straight because then it kind of like does the flip up thing. But having it wavy feels perfect. This feels very much like an Alex haircut. <laughs> so uh, I've been getting more comfortable with it because like I said, I normally go like here. And then this is when it gets grown out. But no, I like it though. <laughs> It, was, it did crack me up though because I was just like in the vlog before cutting it I was like I love my long layers 
and I did love my long layers like I can honestly say I love both haircuts equally I just felt like I needed a change for my soul you know you know when you just like your soul needs a change this was the change so and the roots are nice and fresh so and I love these curls too because they like hold really well like I it took me like a second to touch them up um I use the beach waver great Christmas gift again um and I'll link it for Amazon so it's so simple and I leave out just a couple inches at the bottom just like twist a couple times it's it's really simple with this and they hold super well so I'm gonna get dressed and then I can't wait to show you guys the gifts for my mom and Mimi all right Bruno and I are picking up grandma but she's not down yet so Bruno's having a full-blown minty bee which is fine we've got our festive swig tub while we're sitting here let's do a little festive lotion i have on my fa la la charlie brown shirt and my old navy teddy coat if you missed the like huge haul i did there was so much cute like christmas and winter stuff peppermint lotion i just i want everything christmasy this time of year like down to my lotion I forgot to show you guys um, the gifts I got, but I'll show you when we get to my grandmother's. And then I also brought a few bags of clothes and old coats. I thought I had gone through all my coats, but I had a few more, so I brought them over and I'm gonna give them to my cousins. They always, always love my hand-me-downs, so. I know, Bruni, it's so hard. I know. I'm sorry, but I will forever prefer using sunglasses as a headband. Oh, is that my girl? That's my girl! You wanna see Bruno? You wanna see Bruno? Put the window down. Oh. Should I go to the other side? Nope. There you are. There you are. Hi, Chachi girl. Hi, Chachi girl. Oh, you smell so good. Did you have a bathy? Oh my God, I'm exhausted. <laughs> so give us our directions. That one over there is the white for the pole. You, are you going to do the pole like you always do? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they, these are just for the front. For the bushes? Start with that, and then when you run out, use that at the end. All right. Ooh, let's ooh, do it. Let's Christmas go. light day. A few moments later. Two, one. Happy Christmas. Oh. Almost. Ooh. No? <laughs> it's not working. <laughs> oh, no. Three, this is giving two, National two. Lampoon Christmas vacation. Yeah. <laughs> just watch that. Oh. Oh no, maybe the battery's dead? No. All right, let's just uh, put this down for a second. <laughs> oh, the antenna, maybe the antenna's gonna work. Yeah, Yay! oh no, one of them's burnt out. Uh-oh, uh-oh, there's a couple burnt out. Okay, <laughs> all right, it's okay, we're gonna fix this. <laughs> oh no. Are you ready, Mimi? Yeah. For the vlog first, is it recording? Yeah. Ta-da! Oh! oh! <laughs> Oh, oh my god, god. Is that yes. okay? No, that looks just like that. I know. I guess all Maltese's look like that. Yes. That is so good. <laughs> and now for mom. Is it, it's not obvious. Oh my god. Is this charger? Oh, oh my god. You guys look so cute in your little outfits. Yay! You guys are models. You guys, the, the dogs won't get off my lap. Guys, we're trying to make the perfect brown again like last year. It's a struggle and I can't understand why. Last year we did a good job and we got to it. Like this is looking pretty good so far. What's the secret to it? What do you remember? Oh, I don't know. I just wing it every time. <laughs> Number two, we got it. Number three, we got it.